hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this dropbox logo reveal inside of after effects without using any third party plugin if you want to support me all you need to do is subscribe this channel and share this video to your friend as much as you can and also hit the like button so it will motivate me to create more and more content like this so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation width I'm going to choose 1920, height I'm going to choose 180 and frame rate is 30 and background color is white color and duration let's choose 10 seconds long like this and simply hit ok, go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Now first of all I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type the text uh, which is used in logo so i'll type drop box now uh, i don't know the proper font for this logo so if you want then you can choose original logo but right now i'm going to choose only text select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this eyedropper and you can select this color also or instead of that if you want then you can choose a little bit of lighter color now select this font and let's decrease the distance between this text like this now select this font press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now go to the animate and i'm going to choose position and let's decrease this over here now go to the range selector and if you increase the start value as you guys know what is gonna happen so select uh, I mean create one keyframe over here and go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this 100 like this now go to the add menu choose property and I'm going to choose let's say scale and again go to the add property and choose tracking like this and let's decrease this tracking like this and also in scale I'm going to make it zero so if you see this animation we will get something like this okay now again go to the add go to the property and i am going to choose rotation and let's make this 45 let's see what we'll get we'll get something like this let's increase it a little bit yeah now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this okay now select this drop box hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer go to the character menu and for the font color i'm going to choose white color and in stroke i'm going to choose black color and stroke width let's choose one now hit page down button two times and select this first text and let's move this over here so if you see this you will get something like this okay now let's hide this thing for now now we have to focus on our actual logo so let's select this rectangle tool and for the color i'm going to choose someone like this and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one rectangle like this select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this hit u now select this hit ctrl d to du duplicate it press v and by make sure that your mouse is over here and by holding control i'll move this over here so it will snap it properly at the edge now select this hit control d to duplicate it by holding control i'll snap it at this edge select this hit control d by holding control i'll snap this thing at this edge select this hit control d by holding control i'll snap this thing at this edge like this now select this and move this uh, pointer over here by holding control I'll move this over here now select this one and with the help of arrow keys we will adjust it like this and then like this okay I think this looks good okay now uh, as you guys can see our this thing is ready 
so now we will select this one press y to select your pen, i mean pen behind tool and by holding control move this each anchor point over here select this hold control move this anchor point over here select this hold control move this anchor point over here select this hold control and move this anchor point over here like this and make this fit now right click new and create one camera and in angle of view i am going to choose 10 and simply hit ok and hit ok and select all of them all these shapes not the text but only shapes and convert them into 3d now right click new and create one null object and also convert that null object into 3d and let's move this over here select all the shape layers and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation and if you rotate it now as you guys can see we are getting something like this as you can see we are getting some blurriness over here so to get rid of it all you need to do simply select this camera and hit double a to open these properties and make sure that your depth of field is on i mean off my was all by default on uh, so make sure that it's off now let's select this null object make this y rotation minus 45 and let's see what we will get let's rotate it on this axis or on this axis yep so let's make this zero let's make it so let's make it 45 and also this said also somewhere around like this let's make this minus 45 let's see okay so x rotation is minus 45 and z rotation is minus 45 only like this so and if you can see you can rotate it this one also so okay so this is gonna be something like that now what we need to do we need to select this one press r for rotation and let's see so as you can see we need to rotate it on y axis so select all of them except this one i'm going to select all this remaining four press r for rotation and let's create one keyframe on y rotation of each and every one like this and then hit u and u again let's enable disable these things like this and around 1.15 frames i'm going to create another keyframes now let's go to the start let's select this one and as you guys can see we need to rotate it on let's say minus 180 select this one also make this minus 180 sorry press r for rotation again and okay so on this one we have to rotate it on x axis so let's make this create one keyframe over here and go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this plus 180 sorry i thought that we should create keyframe on y so sorry for that so let's delete those y keyframe for this one now select this one i think for this one it should be plus 180 so let's make this 180 select this one select i mean we need to delete this y rotation keyframe for this one press r again let's make this minus 180 initially create one keyframe go over here and let's make this zero so now if you see we are getting this kind of animation so hit u select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph select and all the graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of animation okay so now uh, we need to animate these things but before that let's select this null object press s and let's scale their size like this okay and after that we don't need this null object anymore so let's delete this null object now uh, what we need to do we need to create another null object like this let's select this null object and let's call it as position and hit ok like this now we have this one and this one select this null object and convert this into 3d now we will select this four layers which is this one and we will make it apparent with this one this position one now select this one and this one and press p for position create one keyframe and then press r for rotation and we need to check out on which axis we need to rotate it like this one 
this or I think we don't need rotation animation so we don't need that so select this one and this one press P for position create one keyframe go to around 1.15 frames create another keyframe go to the start select this position one and this one and let's move the position over here first of all this one should be here select this one and this one should be here like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this select this position let's move this to 15 frames like this so first this thing will come and then this thing now we will select all of them we will hit u we will select those rotation keyframes and we will move them over here so first thing first and then this i think let's zoom in go to fair five frames and let's move this null object over here like this and now what we need to do we need to select this keyframe let's move this over here at this point i'll select this one let's move this over here at this point i'm going to select this one let's move this over here this point we need to select this one and let's move this over here okay so if you see this animation we will get something like this i think the animation is quite slow so for that what we can do we can select them by holding alt i'll move them somewhere around over here so we will get a little bit faster animation or you can go over here you can go few frame forwards and you can move this keyframe over here this keyframe over here and this keyframe over here so let's go to the start and if you see we will get something like this hit you okay now select all the tech, uh, this shape layer and this position by holding shift so it will select our camera also press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as box and hit ok like this let's enable this drop box also select both the text press p for position let's move this over here now let's go to the start now after this animation let's select this drop box press p for position create one keyframe over here go to around 4.15 and let's move this over here like this we will select this text we will bring this downwards like this okay so now select those keyframe hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this or you can move this thing at this point okay now go over here select those text let's move this over here hit u like this let's select this let's move this over here let's move this a little bit over here so it should get match with this or instead of that go over here select all the keyframes and hit f9 again so it will remove all the graph adjustments now select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so now we will get a proper animation for this ATU, press Ctrl Y and create one piece of white solid background. Let's go to the five seconds and hit N. And now, if you see this animation, we will get something like this. Let's go inside the Dropbox, select all of them. Let's enable this blurriness. Select both the text and let's enable this one also. So, we will get some blurriness in our animation like this. Now select this drop box. Let's move few frames after that, like this. So yep, this is how you can create this kind of drop box logo reveal inside of After Effects.
so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned